Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new moon in Libra reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, this new moon is taking place on October 6th and it is set to be one of the best of the year. Um, it also means we're in the seventh house astrological area of partnerships and love. Um, with only pleasant and harmonious aspects around this new moon, it's time for balanced growth, peaceful negotiations, and new relationships. It should be relatively drama-free and calm. With its ruler, Lady Venus, romantic feelings are also going to be heightened right now. Driven Mars, Venus's masculine counterpart and lover, is linked to this new moon, offering the stability to set goals, but also the energy to manifest them. So let's set the intention to love ourselves and others more deeply. All right, Leos, if these messages resonate with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, take a moment to check out the description box down there. Uh, you can find the cards that I'm using, how you can get a private reading, and also links to my Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to follow me over there. Feel free to leave a comment, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Leos, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you. What energy are you bringing into this new moon? Or what is the theme of this new moon for my Leos? So we get the four of pentacles. So some of you guys, you guys are really focused on stability. Um, but this is also, um, this could be financial stability. This could be stability within your relationships. I'm also getting house and home. Career might be a big focus for you. But when I see the four of pentacles show up, I always am reminded that we might be holding on too tightly to something that it's time to let go of. What you need to leave behind, we get the Queen of Pentacles. It's really funny because I did a, I started a reading for you guys and you got the same card in the same position. <laughs> so the Queen of Pentacles could indicate it's a person or a situation like a job. Um, it could be a romantic situation, but somebody wasn't nurturing you, uh, wasn't nurturing your connection. Ooh, and we get confirmation there. The Queen of Pentacles can also be somebody who's quite greedy, um, it can be somebody that was really draining your time, your energy, your love, your money, your resources. It's also possible, Leos, that you guys were giving your power away or your energy away to someone or something that didn't quite deserve it. And it may be someone that you have financial ties to in the past, but this is what you're leaving behind and what you're moving towards the high priestess. So we've got cancer energy. Uh, Pisces energy, Virgo for me also as a reader. The high priestess is about trusting your intuition. Some of my Leos, you guys, I mean, I don't necessarily feel like you're ghosting someone, but you guys are pulling your energy back from a situation that just doesn't serve you anymore. Maybe a job that wasn't paying you or recognizing your worth and your value or a person or a group of people even. Trust your intuition. Spirit says, even though you may not be able to see the way forward, Trust that the universe is reworking things in your favor. Now, what you need to know, the Ten of Pentacles, cha-ching, Leo, you have money, abundance, stability coming your way, but you do need to let go of something. This is the card of the miser. There's someone here or something that you need to let go of. Now, it can also be it's about shifting your relationship to money and abundance, truly recognizing that you deserve this. Some of you guys, you may have taken a financial risk or maybe you're taking a risk and you left somebody behind or you're traveling or you're moving or you're starting a new relationship. Spirit saying, go for it. This is jackpot energy. You've got serious cash coming your way. But for some of you guys, it's cash, it's abundance, which means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. That can be a lot of love. This can be pulling the family together. This can be a romantic partner. This can be getting enough sleep, taking a vacation. You know, some of you guys, you're starting your own business and maybe, you know, you had some failed, you know, um, ventures in the past, but mm -hmm, there's something coming to fruition for you in a really big way, Leo. And the Nine of Swords. So... There is, you know, the Nine of Swords is a little bit of an energy of karma. It's an energy of feeling stuck or self-sabotage. So remember, don't fall back into that energy of believing the people that told you you couldn't do this or you didn't deserve that. And it may even be an aspect of yourself that doubts because you can't quite see how it's unfolding. But Leo, trust it. This is unfolding for you. And I'm going to show you again the Ten of Pentacles, stability, abundance, love, whatever this is that you've been asking for. Some of you, it might take a little bit more of an investment, okay, than, you're will than you felt like you were willing to give, but just be, just be ready for this. Whatever it takes, Leo, you've got it. 
Now we have the, uh, what is this? The eight of wands in reverse here. So a lot of you guys, you are pushing someone or something away, or maybe you felt like this queen of pentacles, a job or a person situation pushed you away, isolated you. Okay. Or didn't want you around something like that. Um, you might not be in communication. Again, you might be feeling a little bit cut off or isolated, but Leo, this is what needs to happen. Some of you with this high priestess energy, you are going MIA, but that's because you've got a dream to fulfill. You've got some goal, you're kicking goals here. And you know, you might like uh, this high priestess energy might be that you might be going dark on some people, but you'll be back and you'll be back bigger, better than ever. And with that eight of wands in reverse, stronger. This is about victory. This is that final push. You're digging down deep to take a risk here that's really going to pay off for you. So let's go ahead and see what other messages come through for my Leos. Victory. So some of you guys, this is all about business and finance. Now for others, it might be about love and relationships or a little bit of both. But the victory card in reverse, they're reminding me of this entrepreneurial spirit. Spirit, And some of you guys, you have made bad investments in the past. But spirit wants you to know they weren't bad investments. They weren't losses at all. And in fact, most entrepreneurs, for example, or successful people, they have failed a number of times on their journey before they hit that jackpot. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening for you. And some of you, you may have been calling in incompatible partners or you were dealing with people that put you in third party situations or, you know, didn't have the same focus and drive or the same vision as you. And you may be seeing that as a loss, but Spirit's saying, mm -mm, Leo, you're transmuting that energy. All right. There is some healing that needs to take place. I do feel that you might need to really go within and like I said, dig down deep to take this step, but you're ready to cross, cross that threshold. You're ready for this healing and this happiness, Leo, but you're the one who has the power. And that's what they're saying here with the garden and the gate. You know, there's, she's looking out with a little bit of trepidation with nervousness. Um, you know, should I, should I take this risk? Am I ready to leave, you know, this comfort zone I'm in? But the truth is she has the power with the key around her neck to unlock her financial freedom, her happiness, achieve these goals that she set for herself that somewhere along the way, someone or something made you feel or tell you like you weren't good enough or you couldn't do it. And that's what I'm seeing here above, but spirit's showing you there's a different way. And I think you're also starting to see, sense, and feel that there's a different way, that you're about to call in something pretty amazing. But you do have the power to say no or to walk away, Leo, at any time. And with the garden and the gate here, there's just a little bit of a reminder because, you know, she has everything that she needs. And it's not about always the grass being greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. But I feel like you've been watering something, maybe even over watering something. So it's time to sort of expand. It's time for growth. You're ready. And we get indecision. Yeah. So some of you guys may have been stuck. And like I said, there's an energy of self-sabotage or overthinking or somebody in your past or a part of yourself that was telling you that you weren't good enough. And, you know, that's not very Leo of you, is it? <laughs> but you know what? We all have our moments and spirits telling you just dig down deep. Leo, you can do this. You've got this. You're ready. Make the decision. Free yourself. You're calling in that 10 of pentacles. You're ready. Divine Feminine Energy, Archangel Ariel. This is where we manifest from, that, that sacral chakra. So male or female, it doesn't matter. You're ready to birth something. You're ready to create something here. But you're also ready to receive because I feel like you've been holding on to a situation where you were the overgiver. Like I said, you were pouring all your money, your time, your energy, your love, your resources into a situation and you were getting completely drained. Now it's time to sort of switch that energy. The tables here are turning. It's bringing you a victory. You might not be able to see that quite yet, but spirit wants you to believe it because it's on its way in. So additional messages, please, for my Leos. The camel boy, small steps and asking for help. So I love this energy for you because some of my Leos, you were feeling like you had to do it all your own. And they're showing me the 10 of wands. A lot of you have been carrying a lot of burdens. You, whether in a relationship, you were the one doing all the work or at literally at your job, you had more responsibilities than maybe you could handle or that were necessary. I don't know. You were pulling your weight and somebody else's. 
And Spirit's telling you, small steps, baby steps, Leo. But it's okay to receive help. That doesn't make you weak or that doesn't make you less than. And the Spirit is here, and Spirit is here to help you. Trust your intuition. And the hawk prince, spirit communication and paying attention. Look at that, number 11, calling in balance and abundance. Also, this is karmic justice, Leo. But spirit is communicating with you in lots of different ways. So signs, synchronicities, finding feathers, finding pennies. But we all have our own little symbols. All right, so pay attention. Now, some of you also, you might be seeing hawks or finding hawk feathers. Pay particular attention to that. And the cosmos, look at that. The cosmos, spirit has got your back. This is the world card for me. You're coming to the end of a difficult cycle, but you're finishing it. You're wrapping it up with brilliant success. And you can see that the moon here is really uh, blowing down some blessings your way, Leo, because it's time. And a lot of you, you're going to be letting your creativity really shine. And you're creating something beautiful, whether that's a family, a new business, Whatever this is, Leo, trust that success is already yours. All right, let's see what else comes through for my Leos. Oof, we get hunger. Yep. So some of you guys, again, your your energy, you've been depleted. When Spirit's time telling you it's time to protect this, it's time to heal. It's time to get your energy back. Yep, you're calling in abundance after a period of lack. After, and it's so funny, my stomach is growling as I'm saying this, which is kind of weird because I didn't have breakfast that long ago. But what I'm seeing here is also, Leo, you guys are hungry for this success. Now, maybe you told yourselves you weren't, but deep down at the soul level, you are. And that's why you're calling it in, all right? But there's been some resistance. There might be resistance from people around you. Again, you might be cutting some people off. Like I feel there's some sort of parasitic energy around you. some Something that's been draining your time, your energy, your love, your money, your resources. And they or it is going to put up a fight to letting you go. Because you're valuable. You're money, Leo. You're fire. Okay? But no matter what, you've got what it takes to see this through. And to really change up your circumstances and call in what you so deeply want. And a lot of you, you you're not going to realize how bad you really wanted it until it's kind of become, until you can like, until you, and until you've had this like deep inner conversation. So I hope that makes sense. So we get marry me. So for some of you guys, it's marriage, you know, you're letting go of a karmic situation or a difficult past. All right, but this is about commitment. This is about stability. So whether it's actually a love relationship or it's just you being married to what you want to call in, being dedicated to it. Yeah, and you're in the process of awakening. A lot of you guys, you're actually awakening to what it is you truly want and you're going for it. All right, and it's time to move on. Absolutely, time to move on from that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, a person, a situation, um, or something you've been telling yourself that's been keeping you away from your abundance, your love, your happiness. So final messages for my Leos, please. We get star, sapphire, peace, number 33. So learning some tough lessons, trusting your intuition, but you've also been through something difficult. This is something that's given you a lot of anxiety. You're not alone on this journey. You are very divinely guided. You're ready for this new chapter, Leo. And at the bottom of the deck, we get angel aura communication. So you, you guys are getting spirit communication coming out twice. A lot of you guys are getting a serious third eye and crown chakra upgrade. So you guys might be starting to see auras. You might be, you know, really getting a lot of messages in your dreams or through meditation. Again, signs, synchronicities, and symbols. A lot of you guys are coming into this realization that you have some pretty serious psychic powers as well. And you're also tapping into that energy of law of attraction. So this is pretty awesome, Leo. I'm going to leave it here. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.